Hi, Louis from Specify here. Today I'm going to show you how you can synchronize your design tokens and assets with Specify and Style Dictionary on GitHub. So we will, we are going to pull our design data from Specify to GitHub, and then we will use Style Dictionary in a GitHub action to transform our design tokens every time they get updated. So all of this process just takes a couple of minutes actually. So first. Uh, here is a working uh, GitHub repository that you can take as an example. So I'm going to fork it on my example GitHub account. And this GitHub repository uh, already contains a GitHub action that will automatically run style dictionary. And this GitHub action in, is in this uh, folder here. So once this is done, we have to do two things. The first thing is to enable workflows on our repository so that this GitHub action will be able to run. And then we need to do a second thing, which is here in our case, I want to uh, update the specify repository that is set as a source uh, from which specify uh, will synchronize design tokens. So in my case, my repository is this one and it's called all design data and it's in the Acme Inc organization. So I will update this and Basically, what this specify repository does is it takes the following design tokens types from my repository and it will transform them so that they are uh, compatible with style dictionary. And then style dictionary will take those generated design tokens to generate them from other platforms. So let's commit this. And now we will see a new pull request opened by specify automatically so i'm going to refresh refresh this page so yeah so now we have this specify this pull request opened by specify and this pull request contains our assets our font files that have been automatically generated by specify our icons and our tokens in um a JSON files that will be consumed by Style Dictionary. And so if we go back to this, we see that this GitHub action wa um, was uh, executed. And now we can see that there is a new build folder that it now exists in our pull request. And basically what we now have are our colors for Android in XML, in XML. We also have colors and sizes uh, in Kotlin. We also have Swift files uh, containing, yeah, basically our token. So these, the output folder was generated by Specify and the build folder was generated by um, our GitHub action and style dictionary. So yeah, this is it. And now that you have this, Obviously, you can choose to merge your pull request, but maybe if you don't want to have the following output generated by Style Dictionary, you have to update the um, Style Dictionary config that takes all of our JSON files in our output folder generated by Specify, and basically, yeah, update this part so that you have tokens generated uh, by Style Dictionary that will match your company standards. That's it. Thanks for watching.